Melissa called my show to finally put her boyfriend, Joel, in his place. You see, Joel has been denying their second son. Melissa says he treats this little boy like an outcast and begs her not to leave them alone together. But she's 100% sure this is her boyfriend's baby and hopes this show will help her prove it. These results and more on today's Steve Wilco Show. Look at him. He looks just like you. He's yours. My sister's a good woman. She don't deserve that fat ass. I'm sick and tired of you neglecting your kids, man. I feel like they'll live a better life in foster care. Are you out of your mind? He calls me. Now I need to come back because he's in a cab going to a foster agency to drop my kids off. No, yeah, I was no. going to do it. I don't know if I heard a more ignorant, selfish statement ever uttered on my stage. It's shocking. Do you want me to read these results? Yes, I want to prove him wrong. I do not know why I'm here, but I just hope it doesn't ruin our relationship. Is Jojo a good father? Amazing father. Amazing, and you love him. I do. He's gonna be hurt. I know he will. So Jojo has no idea. Oh, my heart's going a thousand miles an hour right now. Right. I'm here to confess to you. Oh, what do you mean? Whoa. Melissa, tell me about your relationship with Joel. Our relationship has been rocky. We've been together six and a half years. We've been on and off. Um, he denied my middle child, my four-year-old son. The reason why he's denying him, because I got pregnant when we was on a breakup. Um, two months into our breakup, I got pregnant. And he feels that I was sleeping with other men during the breakup and that he's not the father. And I just wanted to end. I'm 100% sure he's my son's father. Because you weren't sleeping with anybody else no. on the breakup? No. So the middle child, he has a doubt. But then you had another child. Yes. And he doesn't doubt that one? No. And your older child? Not at all. OK. Um, and so because you broke up, he's like, hey, I believe you slept with somebody. Yeah, he feels that since I was in my old neighborhood, that I was doing things with people I know. And he feels I was cheating and that it's not his son. When I found out I was pregnant, he told me to take out the baby and I refused to take out my son. And throughout my whole pregnancy, he's been denying him. He was never there. He wasn't there for the birth. He came the day after I gave birth to sign the birth certificate and he only signed it because he felt that he was pressured by me and my family to sign the birth certificate. Why did you guys split up? He was too controlling. It was, I can't wear this, I can't wear that, I can't go here, I can't talk to that person. And I just got frustrated. I couldn't take it no more. I was young at the time. I'm still young. You're still very young. And I felt that I shouldn't be controlled by any man. I should do whatever I can do. Well, I hope every young girl out there watching the show listens to you, so. Um, so was he there throughout the pregnancy or were you guys still broken up? We were still broken up. He didn't come to no doctor's appointment, no sonograms, nothing. I even fell down the stairs one time and winded up in the hospital at seven months. Never showed up. Never showed up. No. How did you guys get back together? I wanted to work things out. Um, I grew up in the system and I feel, you know, I, my parents wasn't there for me and I feel my kids should have both parents. I want what's best for my kids. I'll try to work things out to keep the family together. Um, and you, you have told us that uh, Joel treats your middle son differently? Yeah, he shows more love and affection to my other two children. And to, um, to my son, he, my middle son is like, he pushes him away. Like, he shows him love, but not like he's supposed to. Like, if you're a father, there's no limit to showing love to your child. And I, I have to imagine that your son is picking up on this. Yeah, he is. Um, my son, he acts out, and I feel it's because he's getting older and he's understanding and he sees the difference between him and his father and then his brother, sister, and the father. You know, the love is different. And is he accusing you of cheating now? Yes, he thinks I'm cheating because when we do argue and get into arguments and I can't take it no more, 
I leave with my family. Like, I just want to get away. And I go to my brother's house sometimes on the weekends, and he feels that my family and my brother covers for me to go cheat with other men. Did you take a lie detector test? Yes, I did. Okay. And you hope that certainly helps with... Yes, I hope it, everything comes to up. an end. It's not hurting me. It's hurting my son. And I feel my son deserved better, and he needs to apologize to him. Okay. Uh, let's bring out uh, your boyfriend, Joel. You gotta stop choosing me. You gotta stop lying. You know that, right? No, you deny him. Stop teaching. I'm being you gonna get this. You deny him. Yes, you are. He has more problems than the other one, so he wants to ask for attention. No. Just because you treat him the same way as the other one, you gotta stop thinking I'm the next one. You've always been like that to him. Always. I'm sick and tired of you neglecting your kids, man. I feel like they'll live a better life in foster care. Are you out of your mind? I don't know if I heard a more ignorant, selfish statement ever uttered on my stage. It's shocking. I'm sick and tired of you neglecting your kids, man. I feel like they'll live a better life in foster care. Are you out of your mind? This is crazy, man. This is really crazy. You gotta stop thinking like I, ne I neglect that kid, because yes, I don't. Yes, you are. You I wasn't for my pregnancy. You wasn't there for my birth. You said my family pressured you to sign the birth certificate. And she did. Exactly, so you deny him. No, she didn't. I mean, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> You gotta stop thinking that, man. Like I said, the only reason I, 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 I discipline him differently is because he has more problems. He has, he needs Maybe attention. Maybe if you've been there from the beginning, this will not happen. I was there did just for the birth and that's it. No, you that's left. It. You left, you wasn't there. It was you just came back two years ago. He's four, what happened to the other two years? Uh, Joel, do you have any doubt in your mind that your middle child is, is yours? Yes, I do. You do have doubt. A little bit. And why do you doubt that? The reason is because in the beginning, we had our first child and we were living together. You know, she always was with, was with me. She never gave me any problem about going out or anything like that. So I already knew kind of off the fact that, including that we planned it, that the first child was mine. The second one, we broke up. We broke up for a very long time, even though we were still messing around. But we, we, we broke up for a very long time. It's the first time we did it in a, in a six and a half year relationship. And I know how her family is. I know how her neighborhood is. I know who, who her friends are. They're all bad influence to me. It doesn't matter. It does, just because what my friend does doesn't mean I'm doing it. I'm not, I know I'm how you to are. When anybody. people I'm tell you to do person. something, you do it. No, I don't. I'm my own person. I'm my own person. Just because my friend is sleeping around makes me a hoe. You can't judge me by what my friends are. They my friends. You said it. Friends. Yeah, and I'm also including your family into this too. All my right? family not has nothing to right? do with no, me. No, 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 no. They because back me up because do. they my family. Everything if they, they not there do. for me, who's gonna be there? When you're gone, who's there at the end of the day? My family. Guess what? It's been seven years and I'm still here. So seven if I'm not leaving yet, I'm not years, gonna leave. On and off. You left plenty of times, and who was there to help me? My family. Who took me in for two and a half years to help me? My brother. Do you treat the middle child differently? No. Yes, I just you do. feel I just feel the reason yes, you do. she listen, may I'll, think no, that. Listen, I'll be honest. I'll be honest here. If I thought for a second that uh, one of my children wasn't mine, you know, I think it might be naturally you might treat different like you, you know, you want it, if this is my kid, I'm gonna you know, I don't know, that might be some other guy's kid, right? So you're gonna tell me you don't treat that kid at all a little differently? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I, Stop I, lying. Maybe in the beginning, but absolutely not now. Well, absolutely, absolutely not, not, not now. now. And do you think she still cheats on you? Or still? I, I, I don't know if you I ever I feel have. like every time she she want to go out every day. Every time her, no, her family want to do something, she want to go out. She doesn't, want strike, family. Wanna, she doesn't strike me as a person with three kids that wants to go out every day. I mean, I could be wrong. I want to enjoy myself. I'm young. Just because I have three kids doesn't mean I need to be tied down. That's right. I take care of mine. 
They have a roof over their head. They have clothes. They have clothes on their back. I'm doing my job so, so as a parent. If you're not doing nothing, why is it so hard to take at least one of the kids with you? Why are you always I leaving me I do take the brother? kids with me. Why and are you always you leaving me all okay. brittle? Your, uh, your brother, whose same name as you, Joel, is here. Uh, you said your brother, he took you in. Yes. Loves you. He's your family. And then think about why can't you take a kid with you? I ain't bringing my son to go play cards tonight. Thank you. Come on. Um, <laughs> and just because this is on the record, we're not playing for money. Um, let's bring out your brother, Joel. Yeah, you know, let me tell you something right now. I was a father of those kids when, he, when she lived with me for two years, you hear me? Uh, she was the one who was living with me. I was the one who bought everything for him. Where were you when she was, when she was home alone without you there, huh? Uh, I was the one buying diapers and everything. Where were you at, huh? You was at home laying your fat ass at home, right? Doing nothing. That's what, that's what you was doing. That's the, that's the only thing that you do, huh? How about when, when she comes to my house? She, she has a right to hang out and, and have freedom, too. You need to take care of your kids, okay? And I heard that you took my kids, uh, her kids, to a, uh, you wanted to take them to foster care? And then you try to hit my sister. When you come and try to hit me, come. Try to hit me. Why you come and try to hit me? I show you. I show you, man. Cause I'm sick and tired of you neglecting your kids, man. That's my man. Hold on, sir. Hold on, sir. Joel, um, I'm glad you're here, but I don't know if this particular stance you're taking is going to help the situation. I understand you're frustrated, and uh, if he did what you just said. Uh, I certainly would feel the same way you do. But you're here because you don't want to break up with them. I want to work it out. You want to work it out. I want my kids to have both so she, parents. Like I told my sister, I don't want my sister to be with him. She deserves brother. He's no good. You know what I'm saying? His family buys all the kids stuff and don't buy the middle child nothing. Last year, I took her to go and pick up Christmas gifts in the Bronx, and they bought all the kids something. And they buy, you think that'll hurt me? My sister's a good woman. She don't deserve that fat ass. She need to leave him and cheat on him for real. He calls me that I need to come back because he's in a cab going to a force agency to drop my kids off. Oh, yeah, I was no. going to do it. I don't know if I heard a more ignorant, selfish statement ever uttered on my stage. It's shocking. He calls me that I need to come back because he's in a cab going to a force agency to drop my kids off. Oh, yeah, I was no. going to do it. Is it true that the family didn't buy gifts for the middle child? That's a lie, man. Don't lie, yes, they did. He's this? making that up? My, 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 my. They showered my oldest and my youngest with gift, and they bought my middle child one gift. It's not fair. He's there watching everybody opens gifts, and he opens one, and everyone opens three, they four gifts. One gift, and they bought other kids like and six, seven gifts right. each. I know my son. He that, that, knows that, what's that, going that's on. Wrong. That's wrong. He knows what's going on. Thank you. That is right. wrong. That is that's wrong. Um, what what's this about foster care? There was one time he wanted to spend time with the kids. I dropped them off in his house, but he wanted me to stay there. There was no reason for me to stay there. You're their father. We're not together. Dropping them off to you. You spend time, you spend with, time with them. He calls me. I need to come back because he's in a cab going to a force agency to drop my kids off. Oh and I like rush back. You like my like that, man? I don't like seeing my I sister hurt, you know? I want my That's kids to go through That's what I've been through. Why, why, right? why, why did you I'll do, tell you about that. that. Why did you do that? She's lying about that. I no, we had an argument and you wanted to leave their life. So I told you, I'm not going to stay with them by myself. No, so yeah, I was no, going to do it. No, But you, you were supposed to spend time with them. Argument. No, it wasn't. You didn't want to stay with them alone. You never want to stay with them alone. So They're yours. So she says, I'm going to leave and you go, well, I'm not raising my kids by myself. I'm going to drop them she off the foster She was abandoning them too. That's why I she was leaving. Because okay. she wanted to go okay. on. You're a bum. That's oh why. How do you do that to your kids? Take them a foster care. You okay. bum. Okay. That's what you want. How do you do that to your kids? Ain't no real man will do that to their kids. Hold on. So for some reason, if my wife wakes up one day and loses her mind and says, I'm not going to raise the kids anymore, I'm out of here, 
I'm going to go, whoa, whoa, what the hell? If you're not going to I'm out of here too. Uh, uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to walk my daughter and son and say, goodbye kids. Uh, I, nobody's going to raise you. Here's foster care. I mean, are you out of your mind? So it's okay for her to do it, but it's, it's not, not good for anybody to do it. I didn't do it. But, I've been, I've okay. been through the system my whole right. life. Why would right. I want to do right. that to my kids? Okay. Okay. First you of all, like, how do you live that life? Why do you want to do it to your kids if you've been through it? Because if it's easy for you to walk away, then I, I can want do the to f away. That's why I'm still here what? to this right. day. Right. First of all, never left I my kids. First, first of all, I don't believe that she did that because she something? shows way too much passion for her kids to do that. She, she's crying because her middle kid didn't get enough gifts. I don't believe she's abandoning them. But what I do believe is that you think like that's a, that's a good response. Like, well, if you're not gonna help, well then I'm not gonna raise them either. I'm gonna give them the foster care. Like, like they're an old pair of shoes, you're gonna donate to charity. I am looking out for them. You're I looking like, out for them. I feel like if I'm still them by, by, by myself with all three of them, they'll live a better life in a foster care. I mean, a foster care. <laughs> I'll tell you you're that's right. not a real man, that's a bum. Right. I'll tell you that. You know a what? real man will I'll, do you know that what? to their kids. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Initially, when he came on the show, and the story was, we're going to prove to him that the middle kid's his, you're not cheating on him. But when I hear a spineless <laughs> on my stage hey. talk about... I supposed to like try to help this relationship because what happens god forbid something happens to you someday say you're walking down the street and a car hits you or lightning strikes you or god forbid you get some kind of illness that you pass away guess what your kids are going to end up in foster care you're with a guy who's on national tv saying there is no way in hell he's raising three kids by himself that's what I'm trying to if say. That is, I, listen, we've done almost a thousand shows of this show, Steve Wilco show. I don't know if I heard a more ignorant, selfish statement ever uttered on my stage. <laughs> You better think about that long and hard and find some shred of fiber of manhood in you and really consider what you would do with your children. You came here and we gave you a DNA test. Look at him. He looks just like you. He's yours. Do you want me to read these results? Yes, I want to prove him wrong. He's gonna be hurt. I know he will. So Jojo has no idea. Oh, my heart's going a thousand miles an hour right now. Right. I'm here to confess to you. You are the guy. Get off my stage. Look at him. He looks just like you. He's yours. Do you want me to read these results? Yes, I want to prove him wrong. You came here and we gave you a DNA test. And this might be good news for some people. It might be good news for you. <laughs> it might be good news for him. But you are the father. You are the father. I told you, man. You I told you, stop denying him. Look at him. He looks just like you. He's yours. Look at him. He's yours, Joel. Without a doubt. <sighs> now we, we have a lie detector test. Whether Melissa cheated on you. Before I throw this guy off my stage. Yeah. 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 
I'm going to ask you and you only, do you want me to read these results? Yes, I want to prove him wrong. Okay. Since getting back with Joel in 2010, have you had sexual, physical contact with another man? And you answered no. Since getting back together with Joel in 2010, have you had sexual intercourse with another man? You answered no. Do you purposely stay at your brother's house so he can watch the children while you go out with other men? More a pathetic question we could not ask. But you did answer it and you said no. And the results for her lie detector test came back the same to every question. And it came back that the woman that bore you three children, that will stand by her three children no matter what, even when the guy that she had him with is, oh, here, take my kids. She told the truth. I told you! I told you! I told you! God, I, I'm so enraged by this story, I forgot that we gave you a lie detector test. <laughs> Do you want his results? Yes, because I feel he's accusing me. He must be doing something. All right, let's find out. Since getting back together with Melissa in 2010, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman? And you answered no. And guess what the result was? He told the truth. All right, all right, all right, all right. get up, man. We asked him two questions. Since getting back together with Melissa in 2010, have you had sexual, physical contact with another woman? And you answered no. And the results for that question is, you didn't tell the truth. <laughs> Been good to you? You lied? I never cheated on you. I thought he you? put me through. Are you serious? And you cheated on me? That has to be Get a lie. Get rid of his fat ass and You cheated on me. Home, it has to be a lie, man. She's in my house. She ain't gonna be here no more. Wait, wait, Because it has to be a lie because a guy like you, who has such strong convictions and, and is so filled with willpower, you couldn't possibly do something like that, right? Is that what you're saying? That's There's right. no way in hell that you could possibly I do something. Not cheat. I did not cheat. You did not cheat. <laughs> but you'll give your kids away. You'll give your kids away to DCFS. Oh you my God, you lump so of right. waste of human life. Yes! Yeah. You, sir, can get the hell off my stage. So young, beautiful, great mother. I think you got a lot going for you that if you do decide not to be with him, your life might actually get much better. So well, good to luck to you. And if there's anything we can do in the future, good luck to you. Thank you, thank you. Good luck to you. Take care of your sister. I do not know why I'm here, but I just hope it doesn't ruin our relationship. Is Jojo a good father? Amazing father. Amazing. And you love him. I do. Oh, well, my heart's going a thousand miles an hour right now. Right. I'm here to confess to you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What?
Vanessa is here because she has been keeping a terrible secret from her boyfriend, Jojo. Oh. Jojo has no idea why Vanessa brought him here, and he's growing more anxious with every second. But he won't have to wait much longer because the truth is about to come out on my stage. Take a look. I have no idea while I'm here, but um, my girlfriend Vanessa brought me here, and I'm a little nervous about it. I met Vanessa two years ago, and it was at my job. She came in, she struck my eye. She, the most beautiful thing in the world. It started out as, you know, dates, you know, a couple dates here and there, and then it turned out to be, you know, we, we were together. We got together, and I had to go, I went out of town, and uh, it's gone for about a year and a half. And throughout that whole year and a half, you know, it was tough, you know, the long distance relationship, but it actually made us stronger. She became pregnant right when, right when I was about to leave. She told me right when I left. So the whole, that worked out great because I go out, I had better money opportunity than where I was at. I wasn't there. I missed my son's birth. You know, I missed the baby shower, you know, and I came around when he, right after he turned one. And that was in February. Everything has been great since, you know what I mean? I came, I'm t we're happy. I take care of him. And I'm thinking maybe she's gonna tell me she cheated on me or maybe she's leaving me, you know? I just hope it doesn't ruin our relationship. All right, Vanessa, why are you here? Hey, Steve, um, I'm here today to let my boyfriend know that he's not the father of my 17 month old baby. Um, and why, why, does he believe he's the father? I told him when I was about three months pregnant um, that I was that I had gone pregnant right right after he had left already, and he was he was very supportive and he sent me money and he had to do he stepped up to the plate and I like that he's a real man. Um, <laughs> but why why not tell the guy who's actually the father that same story? Let me start from the beginning, Steve. Um, I met Jojo at Taco Bell when I was there with my friend. And he, he wanted to get my number and I wasn't really attracted to him like that. But he started asking me on dates and stuff like that and he was, he was a really nice guy. But um, basically I did because the real father doesn't want to be around. He doesn't want anything to do with the baby. He doesn't want to step up to the plate. And so you said, well, I had this guy that's really nice to me. Uh, and at what point did you say, I'm gonna tell him he's gonna be the father, or you know, you're the father? As soon as Aiden started talking, and now he calls him daddy. The only time that the other guy has been around is at my baby shower, he was there, and he was there when I gave birth. He, he, did, he did sign the birth certificate. He didn't sign the birth certificate? He did. Oh, he did? He did. Well, then how does Jojo never said, hey, can I see the person? I told him I lost it when I was moving, and he never <laughs> looked at it. Okay. Hold on, hold on. So Jojo has no idea that this baby's not his son? No idea at all. Um, is there any chance at all that Jojo's the father? I... I don't believe so. You don't believe so? No. Jojo doesn't know about Cody and the baby shower and that he was at the birth? No. Who, who does he think? No. What? I sent him pictures, but it had nothing. My ex was not in any of them. Right. You cut him out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did, what, did you see? I mean, he must have wanted to know about the birth of the child, right? Yeah, he did. And I sent him videos and I sent him pictures. And again, the ex wasn't in the... No. No, None of them. crying, oh my God, I have a boy. You know? No, no. I know, he just saw me and the kid. Okay. Um, is Jojo a good father? Amazing father. Amazing, and you love him. I do. Who's this in the picture? That's the father. That's Cody. And does he know that Jojo thinks that he's the father? No. He, he doesn't, doesn't know. know Jojo. Oh, he doesn't know Jojo? No. I'm not, I, Cody is not around to even... Does he ever care? Does he ever no. send you money? No. Ever want to see the child? No. Nope. But he knows he has a kid. Yeah. How do you think Jojo's going to react to this news? He's going to be hurt. I know he will. But I know at the end of the day that I'm his baby and I know he loves me. And I know he but knows that I really love him. But do you really have a deep love for Jojo? Or is this a case of, 
I got pregnant and I needed somebody to help me out. Oh, my heart's going a thousand miles an hour right now. Right. I'm here to confess to you. Whoa, 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 whoa. what are you? You are the guy. Get off my stage. Jojo is about to come out, and let's face it, it's going to be uh, pretty heavy news for him. He has not heard, so I, I ask an audience to, you know, be sympathetic a little bit and not scream out or yell. Let's bring out Jojo. Relationship with Vanessa, a little family going here. Uh, you love her? I love her to death. Um, it's got to be kind of wondering, like, oh my God. Yo, I've been going crazy here. You've been going crazy? Yeah, it's losing my mind. What do you think the secret is? Is she's cheated on me, or she's cheated on me, you know? Yeah. And would that break your heart if she did? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, she's here because she wanted to tell you something. I'm going to let her do that. All right. Jojo, I'm here to confess to you. Ian is not your son. What? I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. You just tried me in front of all these people telling me that Aiden is not my son? I'm sorry, George. I love you, though. I do. I love whoa, you. Whoa, whoa, what do you mean? Hold on. It First off, what are you talking about? Aiden is not my son. Because that's my son. All right? That's what I want to know. I don't even know what to say. I'm, all I can say is I'm sorry and I love you. I love you so much. And listen, listen, listen. The truth had to come out sooner or later, right? Man, he calls right you daddy, now, right? He calls you daddy. You're damn right, he calls me daddy. And you're like a father figure to him, right? We both didn't have that growing up. We both didn't have that growing up, George. I'm sorry. You know, at first it was just about who's gonna be the father figure to him and who, who's gonna be there. But now it's a total different ball game. Now we have a family, George. Now we love each other. Look at me, please. Man, not right now. George. Oh, no, George. Man, look at that, man. George. George, look at me. Look at me. I'm sorry, baby. Nah, I can't. I can't. I'm sorry, right baby. No, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't right now. I can't. I can't, nah, man. I, hey, Steve, listen, man. It's, uh, what do you do, bro? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, what would y'all do? It doesn't matter what they would do. It doesn't matter what I would do. You look at her, and I, I listen, this is big news to get. Um, oh, my heart's going a thousand miles an hour right now. Right, but I'll say this. Uh, like you said, you're dead, right? Does that change at all? Hell no, nah, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I'm with this. I, there's a big story to tell you. I, I, you know, I don't know if you want to tell them now about how this all went down. I didn't lose the birth certificate. The real father signed it, and I didn't want to show you. Oh. Will you please still be a part of us, George? I won't go near you, but will you please just look at me? Look at me. I love you. Do you love me, George? Do you love me, George? You know I love you, Vanessa, for real. Dog, I'm upset right now, dog. But you know what? No and matter I, the outcome of this, that's still, I'm, that's still my boy. And I'm still going to do what I got to do. That's probably one of the, you know, huge, big pieces of news, shocking, that you can drop on somebody. 
stuff. You owe him an explanation. I do. I do. And, but it was with someone that doesn't even matter. And it was a complete mistake. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes for you to forgive me and move on. Well, and I'm just going to be Jojo for a second and ask the question, why did you wait so long? Yeah. Why you had to wait two freaking almost two years? Why you didn't know from the jump? When I was out there in South Carolina busting my ass working for this, for Aiden. You serious? When I, when he left me high and dry, I just, you stepped at the plate and I like that. I like that you, you, you always had jobs. You're always taking care of yourself. You, you don't. And I like who you were as a person. Here's, here's the thing I can imagine only cause I'm a father and I have a little boy. Every time at a birthday, you know, he's holding them and he's happy. It's his son's birthday or at Christmas when he's opened up presents or Took his, takes his first step. And you could probably see the emotion, the same emotion I expressed, that he's expressing, you know, his son is doing this for the first time, that for the first time. At any of those moments, did you say, oh my God, I gotta tell this guy? I asked you if there was any chance that he could be the father. You said no. But before the show, you kind of led us to believe that there was a two-week period that you were sleeping with both and that there's a small chance that JoJo, JoJo was the father. So we booked a DNA technician, to, hold on, to swab JoJo if there was a chance. But if you're telling me there's no chance, I don't want to give him false hope. I don't want to waste our time, but if you think that there is a chance, uh, we have a DNA technician going back there who would you know, take your DNA, and we can find out, and we'll bring it back and find out the results. But listen, I try to help people on my show, and I don't like people messing with me, and I don't like people wasting my time. So if there's no chance, no chance at all that he's the father, then look at him and say, there's no chance that you're the father. I had a gut feeling when I was pregnant that he was not the father. And That's not I an still don't believe that he's the father. Is, to, should he go back and get swabbed? And it's only if you want to go back and get swabbed. At this point, Steve, it don't matter. Um, am I misinterpreting that by saying you're going to stay in the little boy's life and oh, take care of him? Of course, bro. No matter what? No, okay. On, um, I got to say, I'm really happy to hear about that. I don't know how this is going to play out. I don't want to say that right now. Right, and I wouldn't expect you to. All I am saying is, if you do, in the future, want to come back and have a test done to you know, put your mind at ease, or if you want to come back and have questions with her, and put her on a lie detector, feel free to give me a call gotcha. and we'll bring you back. Yeah, most of Thanks a lot, brother. Nice meeting you. I appreciate it.